Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Today I'm with Richard at the Saltwater Expo in Edison, New Jersey. And uh, Richard is the owner, developer, and manufacturer of saltwater plugs. It's called Manhattan Tackle. And I thought Richard would have the opportunity to just tell us a little bit about his product, how he develops it, and, uh, well, what it's used for. Hi, Dennis. I wanted to tell you a little more about my uh, my new items that I came, just came out three months ago. Uh, I have a new plug. Let me take the one out of the back. It's a new plug, and uh, I have wire through it, 9-0 uh, inline hooks, and it's and it splashes about three feet, three feet, and a two-foot barrel. That's just one of my my uh, plugs that I'm making. Now over here, I'm making uh, some of my uh, my daughter my daughter uh, uh, swimmers that I'm making. I'm, ma I'm making a seven out, seven inch, five inch, and five inch low profile, and they all have wire on it and they zigzag like a spook. And I think one of the things that's important to note is these are made in the United States. Yes, yes, they're right in Brooklyn. Right. right in Brooklyn, uh, Williamsburg, Brooklyn. I have a shop there, Injection Mole, and I'm a plug maker also. I make wood plugs also yeah. in Asbury Park. And well, as we discussed, I've been fishing your uh, plugs for years. I really enjoy them. It's a pleasure meeting you. Oh, I, thank you for the opportunity to put I this on my channel. I appreciate it. I get good reviews from at least 500 fishermen at the Edison show showing me... Uh, uh, all the fish that they've been getting, you know, it's amazing. I really had a great, great time at the show. Well, thank you for thank spending you. a few minutes with thank me. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my interview with Richard. Uh, as I mentioned, Richard has uh, been a friend and an acquaintance for some time now. I first ran into Richard, geez, it's over a decade now, I think, uh, when he was uh, selling at a local uh, saltwater uh, fishing flea market. And, well, he mentioned to me while we were talking uh, after the video that he's expanded his, uh, his realm now. He goes all the way from Cape Cod in Massachusetts to Cape May in New Jersey and uh, does quite a few shows and has talked to over 50,000 anglers, has had lots and lots of success selling his plugs. And, uh, well, he's uh, continuing to do that. And what I would thought I would do is share with you some of his current offerings and, well, the ones that uh, got me to know him to begin with. And that would be these two uh, here. They're needlefish. Again, uh, these, I believe, are epoxied or they're plastic. I'm not sure. They're molded for sure. Richard does all of the uh, work on these, as uh, he mentioned. Uh, they're done in uh, Brooklyn now, in the Williamsburg section, right across from Manhattan. Uh, a couple of things you will note with these. The, uh, these are the earlier ones. They have the treble hooks. If you were using these for striped bass in our estuaries, well, you need to change those over now to straight uh, inline hooks. Uh, that's a current regulation, so it tells you a little bit about the age of, of these. These are meant to look like gars or eels uh, or uh, common bait fish. This one has the dark backing on it, which would probably be a, uh, well, um, a mackerel or something it would show as. And... Uh, the other one, of course, uh, well, it's got the green topping to it. This is the one I have a lot of success with this one. And uh, we use these in the local bays and estuaries. And, uh, well, I'm just so happy and delighted to show you the new product lines from Richard. He mentions some of those in his uh, his video. But let's, uh, let's take a look. This one's open, so I guess we can show you some of the modifications on it. Again, it's from Manhattan Tackle. This one is, uh, well, it's set to look like a squid. It's got the inline hook to comply with the current regulations. Uh, we're going to run it this way. This has got a cut bill in it. And this one is um, wood. So he is one of those crafters that still works in wood, although he has changed an awful lot of his uh, designs uh, over to the, uh, the molding. And uh, that's what his current line is doing, is molding. But this is a wooden plug. It's sealed so that uh, there isn't any water intrusion into these. It does have the wire running through these to uh, provide strength for the hook so that that doesn't pull out on set. And he runs these actually on a lathe. So he has a lathe that he does where he actually turns these and then he uh, he's able to cut the, the bill into them. 
and uh, do the mounting for the, the hardware and the like. That's a uh, very effective uh, bass plug, so, uh, stripe bass plug for those of you that may be wondering. Well, here's the, uh, the modern day equivalent of that. This one actually is, uh, he's very proud of this one. This is a seven inch, three and a half ounce. So we're going for big fish here, but we find big fish here in that regard. Again, a common look at a, uh, at a bait fish. This one's gonna pull backside, right? And uh, Richard was telling me this will throw splash up to uh, three feet if you're going against the current when you're casting this. So if you will, you're coming upstream. And of course, predator fish like the striped bass or the, the blue fish and that, they're always looking for where's the action. If you see that uh, splash going with the plugs, generally it means that you're, uh, you're on to bait fish and those are the bait fish that are panicking. And well, something like this is very effective in that estuary. As you can see, it kind of looks the same way, but the difference is this one's gonna pull from behind as opposed to uh, pulling from the front side. When you pull from the front side, you're gonna get a diving action to that. That's gonna uh, act like a bill. What's gonna happen is the, the fish is going to rock back and forth the bait as it goes and swims lower. So it's gonna swim like this, diving down. This one is a top water plug. You're gonna pull it from this side. You'll get the splash to uh, attract the attention. And then again, these are big 9-0 hooks in line, they're straight. And uh, that's to help preserve the uh, undersized fish when you need to release, you're looking, you're looking to release them without harm. Well, that's the seven inch edition and we have a little bit of a different one. This is a, uh, he calls them the, the darters. And uh, well, they're, they're fatty floating darters. So the floating plug is going to come to the surface. So you're gonna cast it, you're gonna pull it, it'll come down when you release. So you're going to be jigging, you'll pull up, relax, pull up, relax, as you're winding in the reel. Well, when you're, when you're relaxing, this is gonna come up again. It's gonna rise in, in the water column. It'll start and rise up. Then you're gonna pull and it'll go down in the water column, relax and it'll float up. So that's why it's sometimes referred to as the daughter. And uh, if you see a floating rig, that's what it's intended to do. Be top water, dive, top water, dive as its action. Very, very effective. Well, as we mentioned in that interview, uh, Richard does have these available. They're available on, uh, well, let's see if we can get this in focus here. I think we can, we probably got a little bit of a, a you can go to manhattantackle.com, www.manhattantackle.com, and you can purchase these there. And they're, again, made in Brooklyn in the United States. And of all things, this uh, is very competitively priced and very nicely done. You can see the quality of craftsmanship, how these uh, lures have been worked. And we'll even go back to the originals, the needlefish, right up through the current line. Very, very nicely done. Something he's proud of and something I'm proud to, uh, to show you about. And I'm glad we had the opportunity to have that interview. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, please like it. Uh, if you wanna buy these, again, manhattantackle.com. And uh, well, thank you all for watching. I appreciate uh, all the viewers in their comments and uh, wish you the best success on the water. This is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Have a great day.